Here we are on the transport to Iran, and we arrive to the outskirts of Tehran. At that point, we are put in a camp. All the Christians and the Jews, whoever managed, and we were fenced in in a camp that uh, was run by the Indians from India. The you know the in India belonged to the British Empire, and they were trying to help. There, we stayed in this camp, um, and. At that point, all the people in Tehran uh, hear that there is a shipment of refugees, and they all come to visit, and amazingly, they serve us over the fence, uh, figs and fruits that I never saw in my life, and uh, try to feed us and uh, be very uh, friendly to us. and I recall that I stuffed myself to no end. And we are staying not very long in, in, the, in the camp, because as we every day went to the fence to say hello to the uh, Persians that came to say hello to us, one of the family approaches us and uh, says to uh, my father and my mother, are you Jewish? And we say, yes, we are. And a man, the man says, I am Baha'i, but I was uh, a born Jew. My parents are still practicing Jews. And we are uh, very happy to see you. How can we help you? And after a few <laughs> days when they came, I got very, very sick. My father told them that I am very sick, and he says, you know, the men, the women at that time didn't make the decision. He said, you know what I'm going to do? You are going to go to our house in Tehran, and I'm going to uh, uh, get a doctor, and we'll see what we can do. So we got permission to leave. Nobody was very interested if we go or we don't. My father stayed for a while there because he did some jobs for the uh, Polish brigade. It was Chris coming close to Christmas, and he used to uh, be very good drawer, so he made some postcards, and uh, he kind of helped them to do some festive things. So he stayed, and we went to the uh, family. And until I got better, they didn't let us go. After I got better, they helped us to rent a room in Tehran. And my father continued doing some work for the Polish people. And he was drawing and making some uh, nice pictures. And he was earning some money. My mom got a job in canteen of the Polish brigade, but there were also the Indians coming and the uh, um, Americans and British, and she was working as a waitress there. They were bringing us food also, and we became friendly with the whole uh, families of the army there.